What's up, guys? I am not dead. Back at Absolute Electronics. I'm gonna walk inside. Uh, Otter called me that they're doing a uh, speaker installation on a uh, S2000. Oh my god, look who it is. What? We thought you were dead. I'm You're not dead, dead bro? I'm no, I'm alive. Holy, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> Oh. Can revive. You can revive. Yeah, we're doing that. I was in the middle of the You just froze. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh shit. <laughs> well, it looks like you're because it looks like you have like it's all black. It's like tinted. What? So it looks like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Is this yeah. your favorite recording? Ooh. I just got a tire or something. Nice. Hey, Tata from Absolute Electronics. Today we're going to put speakers, our speaker kit, in the next 2000. So, first things first. We're gonna put the speaker kit in, but I think what's more important is to show you all the steps that we took to actually make the speaker kit adaptable specifically to your S2000 and the plug and play nature of the actual kit. So first things first, I'm gonna show you our design that we, everything's designed in CAD. I can find my mouse. So these are our speaker adapters that we made, that we make, okay? There's some other stuff in here, look, you can see this is our, uh, speaker adapter for our our rear speaker kits uh, and the bracketry that we make for some of the other stuff that we have. So first things first, I'm going to cut these pieces um, so that we have something uh, to bounce the speakers to. All right, here we go. So now we're going to take and we're going to, these are our two speaker plates. You'll notice they have this weird little bump out. See this little bump out? This bump out is so that we have a place to put um, another part that goes with our speaker kit. So I'm going to do this real quick so that you can see what we're going to do. And then we're going to go from there. Speaker adapters are made of acrylic like this. You see this it's super thick and it's all laser cut. So in our shop, we have Boss 30. Five laser, big giant laser, and we have this giant sheet of acrylic. This is going to become, well, probably more than two, but speaker adapters for Warren S2000. So now we got our speaker adapters all cut. Look at that. I see you. So these are speaker acrylic. You can see how thick the acrylic is. It's super duper sturdy. And the reason that we want them this sturdy is because you want to make music and you want the music to transfer to the inside the car. And we do another step to get that even going further. So now that we have these, we have the speakers and we're gonna put everything together so we can put it in a box ship to you but we're also going to show you we're also going to show you that how to put it all in 
So now I'm gonna talk about what speakers we have available that fit in our S2000 speaker kit. And you can order our kit and order the speakers at the same time. Uh, we offer a full manufacturer warranty for all the speakers we carry. And I'll go over these right now. Sony ES, uh, six and a half, the model number is XS, 162 ES, the AudioFrog G60S's, um, Glam Relax 165 RS, Morel Ultra, or I'm sorry, Maximo Ultra 602s, and the Infinity Kappa 603 CF. All these kits are available with our kit. You just have to let us know which one. Today, we are going to be using the G60Xs from AudioFrog. The kit was originally designed with this, and this kind of is my favorite for this car um, because of the size of the speaker and the form factor of the speaker. So we'll show you guys what's going on next. Now, I'm going to tell you how to get the door port, and I'm only going to use this because most of you guys working from home only have this, and this is really all you need. So the first thing you're gonna do is roll down the window. After you roll down the window, I would turn the car off because you don't want the car to die when you're done with your speakers, you wanna jam out. All right, so now we're gonna start taking the door apart. First thing we're gonna do is take the key out of the ignition so that we don't hear the stupid ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Um, and this is how it starts. You see this part here? This guy is easy. You're gonna take your hand and you're gonna find how it kind of comes up there. And you're gonna, this is what I do. I'm gonna grab this guy so it doesn't fall off. Very gently, this guy comes out like this. And what I do with all my parts and pieces, I stick them in the boots here of the actual shift knob. See that? Boom, like that. And then you can take these off. And if you have long fingernails or you have experience, like my fingers aren't, aren't that long, but you can just go ahead and grab this, pull it off. Same thing with this guy, you're gonna grab this, pull it off, just get it here. Okay. And then there's three screws that hold the door on. The first screw is behind here. See that there? You're gonna grab this, you're gonna pull it off. Now, Pay close attention to what you take apart. This speaker is, this speaker, this speaker. Speaker's on the mind. This screw is very specific. I don't know if Gary can get in there. It's the only screw in the entire car that looks like this. For me, it's a pain in the butt and, and kind of annoying when people don't put this screw back where it belongs. Um, and this screw, as well, as well as this piece here, are both from the 92 to 95 Civic. So I've been annoyed by this. People not putting these things together right for a long time. And there we go, we got it out. See there's a little nipple here that kind of holds all that on. And there you go, there you go. Huh? Next there are two screws that are in here. I'm gonna have to Gary, Gary's filming this right now, but there's no way he can get in here because I'm not gonna let him sit on my lap to do this. Yeah. But there's a screw, <laughs> there's a screw back here. That's why I have to... You're either gonna wanna get a magnetic screwdriver or you're gonna have to like kind of wiggle the door to get it out. But what I'm gonna do right now is get the other one out. And this is kind of an easy way to get both out at the same time. Um, you just wanna make sure it's fully out. Like this one came all the way out, right? Now the other one's in there as well, but what you can do is if it doesn't wanna come out, I mean, it looks to be kind of difficult, is you put this guy back in here, right? So when you take the door off, the screw doesn't go flying. So now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna take the bottom of this part like this. All of this comes out like that pull things out, you notice the screw's still in there, okay? You're going to pull the door panel up, and this is going to be awkward. Because there is, I don't know if Gary can get on this side, here. You see that? Yep. I see it. There's a plug that you're going to have to get to unplug like that. So that plug comes out, and now we're still left, and we're holed up by the tweeter. 
So the tweeter has another little guy that you're gonna take off from the door panel, not from the door, from the door side itself. See, right here, Gary, on the metal side. See it right here? Uh, I see it. Yep, so we're gonna, now the whole door panel is free. I lied, there's one more plug. Yeah, I was looking at that one, I thought that was enough. There's one more plug down here. You're gonna pull this plug out. You're good to go. So, I would put the door panel in a safe place. Now, what you're left with is a speaker. Yes. Oh, I didn't, I thought you were gone. No. You tricked me. <laughs> no, I was recording. You tricked me. All right, so I wouldn't even bother taking these speakers, these, these out, right? I would just take these off. So, I don't know how guys work without tools. I mean, screw on. What does that mean? Without a screw gun, bro. Like, oh. So our kit is going to come with new screws for these three guys, these four guys here. And the reason we bring it with new screws is because our our plate is thicker than what is what is factory with this car. So, all right, got our speakers out, and you can just see. You don't need to take the speaker apart that way. If you want to put this stuff in the corner, you can put all of it. It's the case. But over time, boom, just like that. Take this whole thing, put it on the shelf, do what you need to do. Light it on fire, whatever you want to do. Same thing with the four speakers, you do the same. What you can do, if you want to store these, is just stick the screws inside, inside like that. That way this will hold itself. Use the trash. Some guys like to have everything. So next, we're gonna prep the speaker kit. This is how we get the speaker kit to you. I'm gonna show you all the different pieces that we do to make it all work. All right guys, so this is part of our kit um, and this is how it comes together. Uh, we basically have uh, these speaker adapters. These adapters will plug into the, the speakers in the car. Um, all of the electrical work will be done here, and then we put all the stuff in the box and ship it to you. And all you're gonna do is, which will be the next step. So I'm gonna show you how this is all works out, um, and we'll go from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, open the box to this, and we're gonna see all the pieces that come together. None of this will matter because we're gonna do it all for you. All of it is for you. We do all of this for you. Anyway, so first things first, you're gonna see that you have two of these guys. So these are the speaker adapters that go on the door. We already talked about them. They're fucking super cool and they're super fucking badass. Um, and then you have these crossovers that go in the car. So one crossover goes, if this is the driver's door, you have one crossover. It goes here like this. You have another crossover. That goes, sorry, they go like this. They go like this. I'm silly. I'm silly, they go like this. So, this allows us to screw this in the door. The crossovers have a place to live, so. I'll show you all this. Let me do all of this and then I'll show you everything. This, I know I'm just being silly. Just being silly. Just being silly, so. We're gonna do all this for you, but this is how it goes. Uh, we have the plug for the speaker. We're gonna connect it to this, twist it like this, twist the other one together like this. So now both the crossovers for the tweeter and it doesn't matter what kit you have, we're gonna do this and you'll have um, mounts. So we'll do that and we'll solder the wires together. So just like this. We're gonna tape it. A lot of guys are like, oh, you want a, you want a heat shrink? No, 
You don't have to heat shrink because you're going to see what we're going to do. It's going to be fine. So we're going to tape our joint here like this. And then lastly, we're going to put our protective stuff over it. So this is outdoor, what's called Tessa tape. So it's tape that you would see normally in like a BMW or something like that. We start our tape here, nice and tight. At the end of the plug, then we put our protective stuff right here on the edge like this, just like this. We're gonna measure out what we need. We need to go about here, like that. So, I'll start taping. Okay, and now you have this nice, pretty uh, little loom that goes like that. You'll notice that there's the crossovers have double side tape on them. Okay, they're gonna have double. You're gonna get the crossovers that look just like this. You're gonna. You're, this is how they're gonna look in the package. So you'll do this. Now the next part of this whole thing is stuff you all have to do at home. Believe me, only thing you're gonna need. So the next part, we have the speakers, the speakers, and they're going to go inside of our custom uh, baffles that we have. These baffles are super duper cool. See that? It's so satisfying. You see that it's perfect fit on the front. They snap in on the back. You're going to have to go on the back side like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So. You really don't want to do this until you go to the car because you're not going to have access to the four speakers. But I wanted to show you how they fit here. Um, the four and screws. Yeah, the four screws. So yeah, you can see, I don't know if Gary, you can get in there, but Probably you can see the, the other side. Oh, this nice. side, this side, this yeah. side. Which, 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 whichever side, yeah, yeah. Like that, okay. So <laughs> you have four screws and there you can see that they're cut by the laser and they fit perfectly right where the screws go. Um, and I'll just do it here, just so it might be easier to get these in here. So screws are gonna go, and you're gonna, they're gonna be tight, and tight like a tiger. They're gonna go in. Believe me, you do not want to do this out of the car. You wanna do this in the car, but I'm just, I'm just here doing stupid things so that people can watch this video and do it this way and not watch the whole video. And then at the end, call me and say, hey, I can't get the screws in. How do you get the screws in? You're gonna have to take these screws out and I'm putting it in front of you out of order um, so that you can call me later and tell me that you did it wrong because you watched the video on the instructions that are doing it wrong in the instructions, but you gonna do it right you're gonna watch the whole video, right? Anyway. So. And I'm gonna show you guys why I did this in a second. It's just so satisfying to have a kit that's just, look at that, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And this baffle that you guys see here is the key to convertible sound. It's the key. It's the key to convertible sound. It's the reason why we have good sound out of our kit and people are all kinds of impressed with it. All right, so I put this one all the way together like this. I put this one all the way together and I'm gonna have to take it apart later, but I wanted to do this so I could show you a couple things um, that were important. And that is this baffle and how it works. Let's go over here, Gary. How oh, does it do the wrong side? I did the wrong side. <laughs> did the wrong side. Now we're gonna have to take this door. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this door. I mean, the door can. Door can. One, two, three, four, 
Same thing. We're not gonna get parts confused. We put it over here. I'm gonna get the screw gun this time. I'm not struggling. He's breaking the rule. He said he's supposed to do this with the screwdriver. I'm doing screw gun here. A few moments later. All right. All right. So the reason that you don't want to do this, but um, you do, is because this little speaker thing here is kind of is, is hard to do in the store like this. So you can see all of our mounts mount to the factory mounts like this, just right in the factory mount, but you can't get the screw in there. You can't, it's impossible to get the screw in. So what you wanna do is, satisfying, it's so fucking perfect. And you want to mount, this bracket on the door, like so. So you have four holes, and those four holes are gonna mount to the factory deal. Now, what I would recommend, if you really, really want your speakers to sound as awesome as you can, is you could either get um, some silicone, and you can spread the silicone on there, and put it on there, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the silicone on there, we're gonna put four screws in it. Um, there's, a, there's kind of a, a little hole here that you can see here. We're gonna run run the wire through um, for not only for the input but also for the output. So it's gonna run through in here, and we're gonna plug it in there with that. So, yep. So I'm gonna get the screws, to mount all this stuff, and then we're gonna do the whole speaker installation. And I'm gonna show you guys um, the end result. All right, so we got our bracket, we got our four screws. The easiest way for me is, and I'm gonna use my gun because I ain't playing with y'all right now. This whole whatever. Just use your regular speaker guy. I'm gonna go in like that. Now the next thing you want to do, the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna find this hole that I was talking about earlier. And you're gonna find, you're gonna put your hand in here, you're gonna find the other side of this and this. And I'll show you why you want to do that right now. Now, the reason that we had this protective stuff on here is because we're going to pass this wire through here, just like this. I'm going to snake it through there and you're going to see this. Put that in there and you're going to just rest that in the back there, just like that. Now, you're going to have this blue lead that you're going to go back here just like this. And that is also going to get passed over to this side. And you want to kind of leave this open for now, like this, right? Because this is going to end up somewhere in this area like this. Just like this here. So the easiest way to do this is to get your, your lead out, get your speaker, make sure you line it up all four corners like so just like we talked about before and then you're gonna just do the fat side of this lead so the fat side of that lead just like that push it in there nice and easy get the short side push it in there nice and easy and then we are going to line all of our stuff up now remember you're gonna have to push the speaker in a little bit because yeah that satisfying little push because it's so look at that isn't that beautiful gary perfect fit all right so it's a perfect fit now instead of having these guys just flopping around you can mount them so you mount your one cross over here what I like to do is have them, and we push, we're gonna give you some double-sided tape on the back here. Pull your double-sided tape off. Mount your crossover, right, like this. So this will make sure that you have room in the door for other stuff. And then mount your other crossover right here, like so. So, 
pull off your tape, one tape, one tape, come on, two tape. Stupid. <laughs> Second tape, you're gonna mount it right to this guy like this. Just like that. And there's plenty of room for activities. Okay. So next part is the tweeter. Now, some guys will have a tweeter. Some guys will not. This will go up like so and meet the tweeter. Now, you can also, um, if you want, guide this behind here like so. It doesn't take a whole lot to kind of get this behind this whole contraption like this. And that way you have kind of a clear shot to the tweeter and nothing is going to bother it. So everything is behind. The tweeter is kind of high, higher up in the door. So I'm gonna do that, mount that like that, and then the tweeter will go here. But wait, where's the tweeter? I'm gonna show you. This is your factory tweeter location. What you're gonna do, you just gonna take these two brackets off. The whole tweeter's gonna come out. How awesome is that? So, gonna bend this, this little piece back and you're gonna pull this out and you're gonna get to that guy. Again, all of these things you can do with a screwdriver. This part right here is glued onto here. Just try your hardest not to, not to bend it. I've bent it a little hair, but it's fine. So now you're gonna grab your audio frog tweeter and it comes with this little bolt. See that bolt, super important. Don't lose the bolt or should be scrambling, calling me, asking for a bolt, but we won't give it to you because it's told you not to lose the bolt. Don't lose the, the bolt. So you take the bolt out, you're gonna compress the spring to the tweeter, comes with the spring like that. Press the spring for the tweeter. All that stuff's gonna come apart, just like that. You don't, you don't need to care about any of that. You're gonna do that, and then you're gonna take the tweeter itself out of the entire basket like that. Don't worry, you can't hurt this guy. It is very rugged design, super rugged. Now, you want to make sure that this little. Um, this piece of threaded material is threaded in there as much as you can by hand. Don't strip it. If you strip it, it's done. You're gonna need a new tweeter. There is some tape from the factory from these guys. I'm gonna take this tape off, just like that. Guess what you're gonna do with it? You're gonna stick this sucker right where the old one was and look at how perfect it matches. It matches perfect, perfect match, just like that. And this is half the reason why I like the audio file. Hint, hint. Put your, take your, your bolt that you had before. You're gonna screw this guy all the way down. Just like that. Just like that. You're gonna mount this so that the wire side's going down. Just like that. Take your screws that you took out earlier. Line them up. You can use, look. Just, I'm just show you how easy it is. Just like that. So now you got factory mount with the tweeter with this connection. Now this connection is not going to go where it went from the factory. It's gonna go where we had it before. So just so you can see why we have the the rubber foam piece or rubber piece. In the factory, you have this foam piece that meets the factory speaker and it helps get the speaker, the speaker to play inside the door. Most of the time when guys get new speakers, they don't reach this foam. Our, our part wouldn't reach the foam either, which is why we have a funnel. Come, I'll show you. Need to take this clip off to put back on the door. So take this guy, boom, we're gonna replace the clip, where it goes. Just like so. So we have all the clips, the door, door is gonna go back on beautifully. Um, 
So first things first, you'll want to clip this guy back on like this. You're gonna get your speaker lead, this lead right here, you're gonna clip it right this. You should have put the window down, I'm sorry, Gary. So you're gonna put that, that lead in like that. You see there's plenty of room. We're gonna actually turn the car so we can roll the window down because it's gonna be easier. <sighs> got a fucking, I know better. I gotta plug in the other side to get this side. <laughs> I know better than this. Okay, now that the window's down, you wanna just align this molding in the door like so. So this molding right here is expensive, guys, so you don't wanna bend it. You wanna get it in there and you want it to sit properly, okay? I normally like to find the first clip on one side like this. Once you're like that, the whole door's aligned. If you got this down, the whole door's aligned. Just gonna go around and press it all in. Can we do an issue? All right, so we got into a little issue and a lot of it has to deal with this portion here. This portion here, you see this is a AP2 door and you have this pocket. And here is an AP1 door that does not have that. So the bracket that we made, that we tried to innovate and make awesome for you guys, won't work for AP2. So in AP1, this instruction that we had will work for. AP2, we're gonna have a separate bracket that that will work. And Gary and I are gonna do a really quick part in this next clip right now. So this is an AP1, but this is how the AP2 will get the crossovers in the door because they have a little pocket here and that pocket doesn't allow our bracket with this guy to stay. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna attach this to the door as opposed to uh, attaching it to our bracket. Um, and so you're gonna have to let us know if you have an AP1 or an AP2. So same thing, same deal. You wanna run this through the side here underneath as well as your speaker connector, just like this. I'm gonna run both of those this way. Just like that. Just like this, all the way through, okay? And then right underneath here, you're just gonna attach this guy here, just like that. You're gonna tape that guy just like that. You're gonna take the tape off, you're gonna apply it here. And then you're gonna apply this one here same thing, you're gonna run this up and around. You just want this one to be a little bit more flat, so just like that. Just like that. So you're gonna put your protective film, see that? Put, put your protective film back on, on there, okay? Just like that. So that's how this one's gonna work, and I'm gonna show you right now by applying this tape, applying this tape. One like this and one like this, just like that. And then, like I said, the tweeter will go on. You'll have the same amount of space on this side for the mid base. Uh, and you're gonna plug your factory plug in to this guy, just like this. Guys, you guys are gonna have to like forgive me because this car already has stuff in it and we're just using it as Something. This speaker is not in the door normally. This is a new speaker wire we're running for this car. So this is what you're gonna get, just like that, for connecting it. It's gonna be phase correct, clarity correct. So let's just do this so you guys understand where they go. Just like that. You put your door panel back on, you're gonna run this up through here so you can get to the tweeter, just like the first part of the video. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks so much. Have a great day.